So, yes, so you'll be able to, with that selection, you'll be able to force, if you have a mod that has a German change, you'll be able to apply those to Dutch or other languages that may be similar, just, or, or you can apply English, whatever, whatever you choose to do. The problem that, why this wasn't done before. I'm actually going to interrupt. Uh, yes. Because this is PHP 3.1 as well. Yes. Uh, when, wasn't there talk of having a fallback language when a user has multiple languages installed on a board? So, for example, if they had English and German, and they updated under a new English language strings which don't exist in the German language bubbles, that it would actually fall back to the English bubbles. Okay. John asked if they were going to do language fallbacks in 3.1, and the answer is no. Because we're not going to change away from the language arrays, for at least not for, not for the complete set. Uh, a, a fallback is, is a good idea, but it's not going to happen on a per-string basis. Um, so basically, yeah, you, in the mod installer that's coming for as Crash, you'll be able to apply any set of changes, like mods, or pardon me, a uh, template or, or language changes to any template or style that you have installed. Chris? Just one thing. Yes. If you're applying English language changes to German, for example, yes. I'm not sure in the current mods and guidelines they were supposed to include um, their own new language files or can you modify existing ones? Because if they can modify existing ones, you can't match against an English, uh, a German language file with English instructions. Oh, we're, we're uh, you have to, well, you have to, you have to include, you have to match against the array key. Yeah, well, yeah. usually, right. usually you just look for the end of the file anyway. No, like no, the no. no. Oh. Well, then, so. then they do it. No. I think I would it, imagine. Would it copy the German files? I mean, the English files as well to the German folder? Yes. It's not going to touch the end, right? So what Chris brought up was how you would be able to search for, uh, for English in a German language file. The answer is, since all the keys are in English and they're all the same in all languages because they're in English and PHPBB has to know how to look for them, then you can just, just uh, parse the... the uh, parse the array, basically, that, that is given in the mod X and, and figure out what the key is that you need to add after or before or replace or whatever. So that it, it, it's a little bit of more of a challenge than with a style, which is uh, the same, more or less. But yeah, there's some things you can do to make it more feasible. Another thing that Douglas asked when I was on PHP BB Weekly, ooh, about a month ago, about the customization database, which by the way is spelled with a Z, we're in New York. Woo! <laughs> the question was whether PHP BB's mod installer would interface with the customization database so that you could be able to browse for mods or styles or possibly even converters within your admin panel. The answer there is maybe. Uh, Nathan and I are going to work on this. We'll see if, if it gets done in time. That's, that's the only question. The other, well, the second question is exactly how extensive the, um, how extensive the changes would be. Uh, for example, converters, I don't know about that. I mean, it, it would just be a matter of downloading a file and unzipping it. So it wouldn't be a difficult problem to solve, but just throwing that out there. And that's about uh, all I have. I do have uh, this talk on joined in, and I'll be putting the slides up on SlideShare uh, later tonight. Anything else that I have left out? David. Uh, with that integration into PHPB with the um, database, uh, will, that be like the, will that be more like the App Store in that you, can, you only have one app, app store? Or will it be more Linux based where you can have the de you have the default one which is php.com, <coughs> but then you can add in extra repositories like uh, like Linux with uh, apt aptitude. Right. So uh, you can say add a right. PHPB hacks as much as Yeah.
David asked if uh, we were going to enforce that the phpbb.com customization database be your only source for phpbb mods. No. There, the, now, with the caveat being that probably whoever else would be, would, be, um, would be trying to provide mods would have to provide them in a certain data format to be able to you know, understand for the, so that it can be understood. But in the case of just saying, no, we won't allow, no. You would want a warning there, though, to let the user know these are not validated. Not necessarily, because something you know, like phpb.fr does validation to, I don't know what, what standards, but they do. So. Well, there's the problem. You don't know the right. So, yes, I. I, I can't disagree that some kind of warning would be a bad idea, but the, the phrasing would be uh, gentle. Yuri. What, what sort of uh, editing uh, system are you going to be using? Is it going to be like the installer uh, or the updater now, where you have to download some files and upload or FTP, or uh, is there some more brilliant system that you can buy? Yuri asked whether we would have to download files manually and then upload them again manually, and the answer is maybe. What's what's going to probably be used is the, the essentially, essentially the same writing that that is used currently in AutoMod, which you can have files directly written by like fwrite, which requires writable permissions, which is not recommended. Right. FTP, which most people use, uh, probably will end up adding SFTP, assuming that we get Jim's library integrated in PHPBB, and. Uh, the third option is download a file and upload it. And that, 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 that should be the least used option. From my experience in the automatic support forum, it is the least used option. I uh, put a bug in there, not intentionally of course, but I put a bug in there in 1.0.rc3, which, which ruined all of the file names. You, you ended up with topics like ick.php. <laughs> Instead of view topic, the, the first seven letters got truncated. Uh, and I, it, it got reported about four times. So apparently nobody's really using that feature. Anything else? Rich. <laughs> that the... the the inline remove bug that's still in AutoMod, um, I don't know how that's going to end up being fixed. It's, it's, it's kind of a, it's a deep bug in AutoMod right now. And I don't know to what extent it can be fixed without, or it's, it's not an easy bug to fix just because it's hard to get the data that is required to process it correctly. So I'm not sure. That's, I, I, I mean, even in 3.1. Because you, because you try and find nothing. <laughs> Yuri is going to go hide under a table and find nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a terrible person. Uh, anything else? All right, well, thank you for your attention, and uh, panel coming up. <laughs>